Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Nick Bernstein uh, in another video about technology related things I'm interested in. So in the previous version uh, or the previous video that I did on this topic, uh, I talked about the idea that uh, while this channel is primarily about things like Linux, um, IT career stuff, things along those lines, it's super useful to have interests outside of what you do for work. And I thought I would highlight a couple things that I find interesting that are technology related, technology adjacent. Uh, so, excuse me, my nose is really itchy. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the these have no real direct value in terms of helping your IT career or helping you be better at Linux. But these are things you can play around with. Um, so one of the things that you can go do is you can run these on Linux, right? Um, I'm on OpenSUSE. So that's the, the Linux distribution that I've been playing with the most lately. And one of the things that you'll find is that um, both the previous tool that I, I mentioned that you guys can find in a, uh, another video on my channel, um, which is the um, um, a library um, sort of video streaming service, open source, distributed, really interesting kind of piece of technology. Uh, and the one that I'm going to be talking about in this video, which is uh, Riot uh, or Riot Instant Messaging. Um, both of those do not have a native package for SUSE. Right? It's not the biggest distribution in the world. It's up there, but it's not the biggest distribution. So most of these projects have had deb files. So you can do a couple different things. You can figure out how to go compile these from source. You can go ahead and figure out how to go install a Debian package on an RPM based distribution like OpenSUSE with a utility like Alien. Or you can do what I've done, which is to install Flatpak. And both of these projects have had flat packs that you can go ahead and use to install these. And if you're not familiar with Flatpak, it's sort of like Docker, uh, but more for client applications. Mainly one of the best things about it is it will allow you to go ahead and use devices. Um, now in the previous example with library, that doesn't really matter all that much. But in this one, uh, it's going to matter quite a bit uh, because the application that I'm talking about specifically is uh, Riot. Dot I, am. I don't know why I keep saying that weird. It's Riot, not Riot, uh, or however I'm saying that. Uh, it's Riot. And if I go jump over to uh, my screen sharing thing, uh, you'll go ahead and see that I've got a uh, tab open in my browser for Matrix. Uh, so Matrix is a blockchain. Is this the right site? Um, I think it is. Okay, yeah, this is just talking about their, their design competition for... Uh, for Matrix, it looks looks like they're they're looking for a logo. So, with uh, with Matrix, Matrix is again a distributed, so no single company owns it, uh, encrypted, um, so it's secure, peer to peer, which is which is nice, decentralized um, project that allows you to communicate with people. So I'm, I'm saying this very broadly, but basically. It's an instant messenger replacement uh, that also gives you functionality similar to like a Slack or a Discord. Um, it integrates with other platforms. So there's plugins for this so that you can, you can have, you know, just an account with this and then have that talk to other platforms. So you don't need to have a whole bunch of different things open. Because one of the things that's been happening in recent years is the number of platforms to communicate people with people has grown. And we've seen this sort of fragmentation where you'll have some of your people that you want to go keep in touch with on Facebook Messenger. And then you have other people that you want to go keep in touch with on Gchat. And then you have other people that you want to go talk to that are on Slack. And then you have other people that you want to go communicate with on something else, right? On Skype or whatever it is. And the really interesting thing about Matrix is it has this idea of gateways. Uh, and gateways are sort of, you know, exactly what they sound. They're bridges 
that allow you to go ahead and talk to people on a different protocol. So for example, you can go ahead and use uh, one of the uh, clients, and there's a whole bunch of different clients for, for Matrix. There's also a whole bunch of different servers uh, for Matrix. Uh, you can run this locally on your own system and have your own chat server that then integrates with other uh, chat servers. So it's decentralized. You don't have to necessarily be using Google servers. You can use your own um, and still be able to talk to people uh, outside of the folks logged on to your particular server or your particular service, right? So there's a number of different clients, but the, the, the client that is sort of the most commonly used one, at least that I've seen, uh, is Riot. Uh, so riot.im is the website that you can go to to check it out. They've got a, um, a sort of a, a kind of traditional, um, you know, browser-based um, kind of, you know, uh, it runs as an application, but it's one of those Chrome-based apps uh, that you can go ahead and, and use. I forget the name of that off the top of my head. Uh, but basically, it's sort of like the Firefox toolkit, and same thing for Chrome. Um, and it's got a um, you know a local version that you can go run on your desktop. It's also got one that you can go run on your phone. Uh, it supports group chatting, like a, like a Skype, uh, like a Discord, like a Slack. Um, and it also has VoIP and video calling. So you can go ahead and do video calling, much like with a um, a Google uh, you know um, 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 Hangouts. Uh, as they're calling them now. Um, you can do that, you know, from a browser. You can do that from the app. And I think this is a really interesting idea uh, because, again, it's not tied to a particular corporation. So <laughs> well, so I guess I don't have the uh, FFmpeg or things like that installed uh, on, this, uh, on this machine. But the idea is you can go ahead and see, you know, how this could be very, very useful especially as I talked about in my, my previous video, if you're somebody who, like me, who's getting a little bit concerned about how monolithic uh, the tech space is. Um, you know, there's, there's Facebook and there's Google uh, and they own a lot of stuff at this point. So, you know, I don't necessarily want my communications to go through a company. Um, I, I, you know, I don't see the need for this. I, I, I like the idea of protocols. I like the idea of open source. Um, I like the idea of peer to peer stuff because that's what the internet was built for. That was the whole idea. Um, you know, you, you look at, you know, even, even if you assume that a company like Google, uh, or a company like Facebook has the best of intentions, they are, you know, as their, their motto used to be for Google, uh, a company that is going to do no evil, right? That was their 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 uh, company slogan for a long time. So, if we assume that they are assume that they are true to their word, and they are not going to be trying to do evil, they have the best intentions are just really smart people who are good at search, right? Well, there's data breaches. <laughs> And we've seen that a lot recently. Uh, we've seen this with Google+. Plus. We've seen this with Facebook. We've seen this with a ton of other sites. So even if they have the best of intentions, it's somebody else's server that they're, that they're running. So if we can go narrow down the scope and ensure that everything is encrypted, I think that's an interesting thing. So Riot is a pretty neat little utility. So I've got this running here locally. Let me go ahead and... Uh, pull this up. So this is this is Riot Instant Messenger, yeah. and this is the the just sort of the freshly installed version from a, a flat pack. So I haven't uh, customized this. I haven't set up a, a user account or anything like that on on here yet. Uh, but you know it's it's you know got all this kind of stuff. So you can you can register a new account. You can go ahead and log in. Uh, I don't necessarily remember exactly what I used for my login. Um, so. Ba -ba. And you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of different um, kind of locations. You can go log in with your matrix.org ID. You can use an email address. You can go ahead and use the default server. You can also go pick a custom server. So if you wanted to go run your own, you could go do it there. Um, you know, maybe you're a company, you can go run this in-house and then you have uh, other stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Um, if I, it looks like there's no back button. Hit the backspace and see if that works. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't remember what account I used for this. Um, so actually, you know what I can do is I can switch over to 
the one I have running on my Windows machine over here, and I can show you that. So this is this is using the dark theme. That's one of the downsides of Flatpak is that it doesn't necessarily adjust your theme, but um, you can go change the theming on this. Um, and if I go look at the OpenSUSE channel, uh, one of the things that's kind of neat about this is it has um, history. So you can go ahead and get history stuff uh, in here. Um, we can also go to, let's see, uh, go back to room directory. Let's do a search. Uh, actually, this so this is this is this is kind of what I wanted to show you. So what I have is I've got an IRC plugin, uh, RIC gateway, uh, as they they're called. So here you can go see for Freenode, uh, which is a you know one of the most popular IRC channels or IRC servers, IRC networks that are out there. You can see that it's got uh, a whole bunch of different um, you know servers that we can go ahead and use here. So uh, basically what you can do is you can go into one of these room. Um, so I'm just going to go into the, the GNU Linux lovers uh, channel, click on that. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, click on here to join the discussion. It's basically going to log me into that room. And basically what it's doing is spoofing sort of an IRC account. So it's creating an IRC account and then it's proxying anything that I send over there. And it's doing the same thing in return. So now I'm, you know, able to be on IRC. You could do the same kind of thing uh, for, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different protocols that they support. And if we go close this and go back to the Firefox uh, kind of instance where we had this up, uh, we can go back to the gateways or bridge networks as they call them. So they've got a bunch of different bridge networks. Uh, again, it looks like that was supposed to be video, um, but this allows us to go communicate with other platforms and protocols. And that's a really useful thing. Uh, and that's gonna be encrypted end to end. So I think this is pretty interesting. So if you're looking for you know, a little side project, one of the things that you might wanna play around with is to go set up a Riot server, or not a Riot server, Matrix server, because that's what the, the server is going to be um, on your own. And you could do that a whole bunch of different ways. You could go spin this up in Docker. Um, you could go spin this up, you know, just on a, on a VM. Um, probably doesn't need to have a ton of resources. I think the only thing that's going to go consume a lot of resources is uh, historical logs for rooms. Um, oops. <laughs> and that's probably not going to consume all that much. So, yeah, that's another kind of cool thing to, to play around with, to check out. Um, again, I think staying interested uh, is a really, really important piece of a technology career. So go ahead and look at that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this, this video down, and I'm going to go come back with a, another one where we're going to go look at another thing that you might be interested in playing around with on a, a very sort of common theme of these three things, which is going to be uh, blockchain, distributed, privacy-oriented, not owned by a particular company. Uh, and, and we're going to talk about that and the, a potential social media uh, application service that you can go ahead and use instead of something like a Facebook uh, or a Twitter uh, or, you know, one of these things that are owned by, you know, a major corporation. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this uh, and you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Um, if you liked it, give me a, a thumbs up. That's kind of a cool thing. Um, I see little notifications when somebody gives me a thumbs up on, on my YouTube app that I have on my phone. Uh, and that's always like, wow, that was really cool. <laughs> so like one of my videos uh, it's, it's you know very much a sort of visceral kind of uh, feedback that, that I get uh, fortunately they're smart enough not to show you the down votes but uh, I've been very lucky so far and we haven't gotten many uh, many of those so if you've enjoyed these videos uh, please do subscribe if you've liked this particular video uh, give it a thumbs up if you think these things might be interesting to your friends uh, share them on you know Facebook or your social media or your instant messenger platform of choice. Uh, probably not actually instant messenger since nobody uses that anymore, uh, but maybe on IRC or who knows. Um, yeah, spread it around. That'd be awesome. And uh, I'll be back in a video soon with um, you know some more, uh, more stuff on different applications that you guys might want to go check out uh, down below. That way, how does it work? Yeah, sort of that, that direction. Um, there is... Uh, some links uh, in the video sort of below the, the, the actual sort of screen 
uh, for training stuff. If you are interested in Linux training, uh, specifically for SUSE, which I know is a, a lot of people coming to this, this channel for, for Linux stuff, uh, and you're interested in pursuing a certification, um, one of the, or two of the training choices that you currently have if you're interested in having me do some training for you is on SUSE Linux. Um, and that's for SUSE Enterprise. And it comes with certification stuff, right? So uh, basically you can take the, the class. It's a week-long class. It's instructor-led. Uh, we do them in person. Uh, but since this is, you know, going out over the internet, probably more appropriate for online folks. And um, you can go ahead and take online classes with, with me. You get, a, you get a week of my time. We talk about Linux. And at the end of it, uh, you will be prepped to take a Linux certification specifically for SUSE Enterprise Linux. There's two different classes. There's one uh, for the SUSE uh, uh, Certified Administrator, SCA certification. And then there's another one uh, for the SUSE Certified Engineer, which is the, the second class. Uh, they're not particularly cheap classes, uh, but when you consider the fact that they also include a certification, that can hopefully help uh, dull the pain a little bit. Uh, so if you're interested in those, you can go check out the uh, the link, which is nicholasbernstein.com slash training, and that'll send you over to Fastlane, where you can go ahead and sign up for, for some of those classes. Uh, they don't run all the time, so, you know, basically you look at the schedule um, and, you know, feel free to specifically ask for me because there's a couple other instructors that teach those classes as well. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter for some reason, which I barely use, uh, you can go ahead and do that at Nick Bernstein. Uh, and then uh, my videos that I'm going to be uploading to YouTube should also be getting synced uh, in the, the not too distant future to library.io. Uh, so if you'd prefer to watch these videos on a, um, an open, um, non-corporate controlled distributed platform, you can check these out on library.io. Uh, and that's just a normal, you know, library IO link, but I wrapped that in a tiny URL. So it would be a little bit shorter, easier for you guys to type, uh, but as tinyurl.com slash Y nine, five, six, eight P L N. Uh, so you can go ahead and Look at that, because it's up on the screen. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I had to read it off. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day.